Okay, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk through how to uh, extend the trial version or the activation period of Windows 7. Um, you may have noticed in a few of my last videos and now in this video, when I boot up Windows 7, because it's been past 30 days, you really just get a 30-day um, trial version of Windows 7. After that, every time it says it gives you this prompt to activate Windows Now, and then you have to click Ask Me Later, and then you have to click OK, and then down here in the bottom it says this copy of Windows is not genuine. Um, well, I need to fix that, and so I need to extend this 30 days. Um, so there's a couple things that we need to do. The first thing that we're going to do is once you get once you get to this point um, and you have the black screen and everything, we're going to go to the Start menu and we're going to open up Reg Edit E D I T and we're going to open this up and we're going to click on Yes and then the path that we need to go to is right here. I can't remember it off the top of my head ever. We go to the H, H key local machine, then we spin open, I'm spinning open each one of these things. Then I go to software, then I find in here Microsoft, okay, then I find in here Windows NT, okay, Windows NT, Spin that open, current version, spin that open, I can drag this over right here, find the software protection plat uh, platform, and then in here I want to find the skip rearm, which is right there, I double click on that, the value right now is zero, I'm going to change that to one, and I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to close out of that, and then I need to restart this. Now when you restart, th that's just the first part of this that isn't going to fix. In fact, if you do that step on a, um, a period that is not, a, uh, on a Windows 7 machine that is not expired, you're still going to get the error. Notice I still get my activate Windows Now error. That's fine. I'll hit ask me later. Click OK. Now that I've modified the registry, now I need to um, uh, execute a command in the command prompt. So I'm going to open up the start menu. I'm going to type CMD. I'm going to right click on the command prompt and I'm going to run this as the administrator. And I'm going to click yes. And in here I want to type in SLMGR space dash rearm and hit enter. And now it says the command has been completed successfully. We need to restart. So now I'm going to go ahead and restart my virtual machine. And this should have fixed um, that issue. Now you'll notice that the background of my Windows 7 machine is still going to be black. Um, but what has happened is um, I've, I'm not going to have this prompt saying, uh-oh, ask me later. Click OK. Let me run that command one more time here. Sometimes CMD, right click on this, run as administrator, click yes, SLMGR-RE, arm, okay, click okay. Sometimes you need to run it more than one time. So hopefully this time when I restart now, it won't prompt me to activate Windows um, uh, later. Um, it'll just boot normally. And uh, although the background, notice how the, that time it worked. So notice the background is black, but it doesn't say anything over here. So that extended my trial period 30 days. So this will be fine for another 30 days. And then at the end of 30 days, I'm going to have to type in this command again into the command prompt. And that will extend my trial version another 30 days. And I can actually type this in now, um, I think, eight different times. Um, so you don't want to just keep typing that in every day because you only can type that in eight times but each time you type that in it extends the trial period 30 days from the date that you typed it in so now I have another 30 days where Windows isn't going to bother me to activate yes the background is black but I'm good so okay hopefully that helped let me know if you have any